Hey, so we're painting eyeballs here. And um, what you'll need are cake testers, paint brushes, obviously. Get some that are really thin. I've got like a one hair brush over here as well. Uh, you want some clay sculpting tools. Uh, some people use needles or pins uh, to scratch in some paint. I don't always like doing that, but I have it here just in case. You need different kinds of paints. You'll, you can get some acrylic. These work just fine. Uh, Tamiya model paints work fantastic. Those are glossy, whereas the acrylics are flat. Um, you can use watercolors, and these are like liquid watercolor inks. They're transparent, and so for what we're going to be doing, the, because the eyeball is, is reflective, the iris in particular, you want to uh, get as much transparency in there as possible. So this is what we're going to be making. And it comes out pretty well. But to do that, <clears throat> you'll need some glass blanks. Uh, this is not a full half sphere. This is. So you get different kinds. This one's from Germany, and it comes with a pupil in it, like divoted into it, and it's concave, and so uh, I've taken some, oh yeah, sorry, you're going to need some of this too, some clear crystal resin. You may want to get some uh, epoxy resin, you can get some clear epoxy resin, it's not always clear after it cures, and over time it will turn yellow, so, but gorilla is not so bad. At any rate, these from Germany have a little pupil area in them, and I fill it in with a little bit of that acrylic. The ones that I get from Tahikin, Tahikin, uh, some friends of mine in the States, make great glass eyes, and they'll paint them for you if you want, or you can do it yourself. Um, it does not have, it's basically fully concave, and then you take a little of that resin and you put it in there, just enough to get the size of the iris that you like. You'll need then to get some acrylic sticks, and you can get those at the model shop. This is three millimeter, you can get four or five. Uh, I'm using three for this, I'm painting Yoda's eyes. And you're going to glue with some of that Gorilla Epoxy a little bit of that stick right in right to the bottom of it. Doesn't matter how long, you can make it long or short, doesn't matter. It's easier to do if it's shorter. Um, then you won't accidentally knock it out later because you need it smooth. Otherwise, you'll see scratches in it. Hey, I'm filming. Huh? I'm filming. You're what? I'm filming! <laughs> oh, filming. Hey, no, it's okay, come on in. Um, I'll be done in just a second. No, no. Oh. And then you're, you'll glue that in there, epoxy that in, and you'll see what my madness is all about in just a second, because then you're going to paint around the iris and around the outside of the pupil. Um, what, I don't remember what those rings are called, I remember in just a minute, but at any rate, uh, just kind of dab around with it. Now with the Tamiya model paints, you can mix it with a little bit of alcohol, and once you do, they turn really transparency, and you can get some really cool effects. Some people like to paint a color in, and then take the needle, and scratch, 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 scratch lines into it. I don't like doing that. It looks painted and scratched. But, um, if you take the Tamiya paints, you can go in and get some really, really, really cool effects by painting first and then letting it dry just a little bit and then going and taking some of that alcohol, thinning it out and getting some really organic -y, um, transparency colors into it. And so once you've done that, you're going to go in and then paint that stick that you put in there, that acrylic stick, and you get this beautiful 3D pupil effect that makes it look like the iris is going into your eye. Your iris is going into the pupil, which 
is what is actually doing. At any rate, get a bunch of these things, test it a bunch of different ways, see which ones you like to do, and then you'll have your own little uh, system. This is mine. Uh, may work for you, may not. I don't know, try it out. At any rate, once you paint the iris bit, that little acrylic stick that's on there, you're going to take a little bit more of your acrylic resin. This stuff. You have to mix it in ratio 50 to 100 to 50, whatever. 5 to 1. Or no, 2 to 1. Late in the day. And then you are going to take it and lay it in before it drips into the back of your eye and you put it on top of your paint. Now it will react with the paint but if you get it just right and the next day you come in and you paint the next color on top of that And you have a fantastic 3D iris that will reflect light and be um, very organic, very reactive to, especially on camera if you get a good close up. These are Yoda's eyes, like I said. Did I say that? And so you get uh, some really cool close up shots. Of your animatronic eyes. Now for animatronic eyes you're gonna want this thick half. Um, if you can't get a uh, full half circle or eyes made for animatronics you need enough space in the back to grab a hold of and stick a screw into. And So if you do that make sure you don't make this uh, pupil bit too big. I'm going to epoxy the back of that when we're finished. At any rate, let that dry and come back next day and see what awaits us. Ta-da! Talk to you tomorrow. So, back to painting eyeballs. I, I thought I had this going. Didn't. Missed it. Anyway, so once you put the clear coat down in the back of this on top of the brown, you want to put down a coat of water-based acrylic. And on top of that water-based acrylic, that those just regular acrylic things, uh, what it'll do is it will separate out because it doesn't want to stick to that uh, that clear uh, acrylic resin itself. So it cracks as it dries, which is exactly what you want. And on this side, you get this beautiful organic-looking eyeball. And then we will go back and put another coat of, I've got a scratch on my pupil, that's okay though. Um, we'll put another coat of acrylic down to create one more layer, and then we'll paint the back side of that a really dark, dark green. And it'll give it a nice sense of depth. Okay, so we've got our painting done. Uh, we had in our, our acrylic coat on top of the clear coat, the acrylic paint on top of the acrylic resin, and it cracked out. So then we put one more coat on top of that, and then we painted the very back of it with the dark green. And then the back side of this has just been brushed in with, with a white Tamiya and a little bit of the khaki in there. Usually I use this milky white, but these are Yoda's eyes, so I want them kind of greenish, and that milky white will be okay, but it's not quite the right color, so I mixed up my own. And I know it looks white, but every white looks white unless you compare it to something. Anyway, there is our Yoda eye, and when this white area in here that I painted is about kind of tacky dry, it's almost there now, I'm going to go in 
with my sculpting tool and let's try it now then you model in these veins and you want to make sure that you do those and they actually look like veins make them squiggly and anyway and there you go still not going to focus anyway that's what it looks like from the other side well I tell you what this camera there's Yoda's eyeball I'll take a photo of that on here